Hey rescue supporters! Today we're going to talk about horse trail riding tips for beginners because trail riding is one of the most enjoyable activities you'll do with your horse and while you're out there you want to be safe. So we're going to go over some beginner tips for horse trail riding and let's get to the first tip. One of the first horse trail riding tips for beginners is just to layer your own self and then we're going to talk about what to carry and what to put on the horse. So I always have a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, a jacket either on you or packed in a saddlebag which we'll go over, um, your phone, so we're going to talk about your phone in a minute and that would just be what you have on yourself. Now let's get Grace tacked up and we'll go over trail saddle and how to carry things and how she should be tacked up for a while we're out. Another horse trail riding tip is what to carry with you on your ride. So let's look at what we've got for Grace. And you want your helmet. Also, I've been using a cantle bag. We're gonna look at other types of saddle bags, but basically in here has some basics. I always like to carry some vet wrap. You may want a small first aid kit, which I used to have that stays in the trailer, but it's better to have it on the trail with you. These are just some treats for her. You could pack snacks for you in here. Um, I carry this stuff everywhere. The baling twine from the bale of hay comes in really handy for multiple reasons. Um, there's an old compass, never used it. I like the <clears throat> hoof pick. This one folds. It's always good to carry a hoof pick. Um, I like a knife. And sometimes a little roll-on bottle of fly spray, that stays in the trailer too, but sometimes if you have a horse or a day that especially has lots of flies, you can take that with you. You can roll up a jacket in there. Um, I always have water on me. So my water bottle holder sits here. So I like trail saddles because they give you longer saddle ties, usually more saddle ties, so more places to put things around your saddle as you carry. And I just set up an extra little clip on here and carry water in that. They do have different types of saddle bags. I haven't been going on five, six hour trail rides where I need the big traditional large saddle bag that would traditionally sit with a big bag here on this side and then on the other side. So I've been liking the camel bag and then I do have, sometimes I put on this horn bag. So that sits nicely over your saddle horn. I would put it under her lead rope, obviously, if I was gonna be have this set up for the day. But then you've got one on that side kind of stays out of your way nicely with your reins and your hand steering and stuff. So kind of comes to the forefront here. Has all these little extra areas. So that sits pretty snug out of your way, which is pretty nice for that. So that's an option. Sometimes I like that one. Some people do like to even take a snake bite kit so I've never had a problem with it, but it's always better to have what you need with you instead of wish you had it out on the trail. And then you've got the basics for what to carry with you. Another important horse trail riding tip is where to carry your phone. So there are a lot of great phone carriers to attach to the saddle, but I think for safety, if you and your horse were to ever get separated, meaning you come off and the phone is on the horse, you no longer have access to the phone if the horse is gone. <laughs> Heaven forbid that would happen, but um, carry your phone on your person somehow. Attach it to you, not the Another horse trail riding tip is to use your halter underneath your bridle. So you'll see that I changed to Grace's rope halter. It's just 
a thinner, more streamlined, out of the way halter. So I like to trail right in that. And I'll leave her lead rope really, really loosely looped, but then safely tied over the horn. So this is in case, and then here's her rein setup. I just use a shorter rein for trail. So in case you ever needed to dismount, tie her somewhere in an emergency, maybe you even just wanna walk down the trail a little bit somewhere that you don't wanna take the horses and look at something. It could be a waterfall feature. I don't, I don't know, something cool that you come across that you want to dismount and walk to. So you can tie the horse this way. Also, I've been in spots where you want to be ponied through something or for some reason a horse needs to be ponied or led through something or you want to get off and walk through something. I like the option to have the halter to do that with instead of just the reins connected to the bit in your mouth. So um, it doesn't mean that you couldn't use the nylon halter which a lot of people will still ride with this on and the only thing i suggest with this is if you're using that nylon halter the heavy snap for the lead rope just ends up swinging under here and is a real pain and kind of annoying so if you've got that halter on you could just unsnap this Keep this on your saddle horn in case you needed it. So then you've got your lead rope with you, your halter on the horse's face, and then if you need it, it's there. Another horse riding trail tip would be, let's look at our saddle setup. So I like a specific trail saddle, one, because it's got a more comfy seat. Sometimes the cantle height scoops up a little higher to kind of make you feel seated in there a little bit better. I like that there's really cut skirts on the leather, so there's not as heavy of a saddle there. There's not as much of a saddle there. Um, I use really as little bit of a pad as I can that's still comfortable for her, but also they get sweaty. They get going through brush. Anything that's gonna you know, collect any of that or make her sweat more, I try to do without. And I even have some saddle pads that are rounded here that would match the rounded skirt on your saddle. So a specific trail saddle for two hour plus trail rides, I think is a must. You'll also notice on this trail saddle, I am using a breast collar and I feel that's just a preference of mine. I like it, whether we're climbing the hills or not, I usually use one. And uh, this trail saddle does have the rear cinch. So again, that's some personal preference in how you want to set up your trail saddle, as well as the rigging on these trail saddles are, can be different. Sorry about the shadows, I'm trying to fix it. Uh, the rigging can be different from many of your other saddles. So I just have her rigging set up like this, it's pretty simple. Another good horse riding trail tip is always ride with a friend. If not possible, I do have, and I have used, and I have friends who use the, the app on your phone, Equilab. It has a GPS tracking so that your loved ones at home or whoever needs to be watching you, obviously let somebody know where you're going, how long you expect to be on, but yes, you have to have cell service for this to work, but there's a GPS on the phone that'll show you and track your progress through your ride. and. I even use them for out in the arena, but I like to prog progress and track the rides for it shows the amount of time you've walked, trot, canter, and some other neat features to that. So Equilab's a neat app if you wanted to trail ride by yourself and have someone be able to be at home and watch your progress and make sure that you're still moving and you're still safe. Another horse trail riding tip is know how your horse is going to behave in a group. So there are some horses who always like to be in the lead. It's just a more dominant personality. They feel better out front and they don't have a problem crossing water first or going over any obstacles first. Meaning if you don't know that about your horse and you get stuck in the back or for some reason you want to talk to somebody in the back, then you've got a horse that's really being a pain in the neck the whole time and it's not such an enjoyable ride. So know your horses. Um, behavior in that group as well as things like if you see a 
ribbon on a horse's tail. They've got uh, different colored ribbons. So a red ribbon on the horse's tail might indicate that it's a kicker and you'd want to give that horse a little bit extra room. Obviously don't be right up on the butt of the horse in front of you. And that's just general trail etiquette. Anyways, so that's a good thing to know about. Um, trail etiquette as far as walking down the trail, just know that all other users of the trail should yield to horses. And that doesn't mean that everybody knows that rule, but if the horses stay to the right and you've got a mountain biker that comes up on you or um, even hikers with dogs, dogs that maybe start barking or um, hiking sticks. That's kind of been a thing with some people that I've ridden with is those big hiking sticks that walkers are using. They don't think that that could be scary for a horse. Really, they don't have any idea about horses and what's scary for the horse. So sometimes things like just asking them to either lower their stick down, especially little kids love walking around with their hiking sticks and they don't even think about it and they can be waving them through the air and then all of that, especially more than one stick, can really set someone's horse off in the group. So um, know your horse, try to desensitize them as much as possible to things that may be unexpected out on the trail. We had last weekend a hiker step to the side of the trail, which many people will naturally do to let you pass. And um, she had gotten into her backpack and pulled out a crinkly papered snack and it was a noise that one of the horses didn't like. People don't think about that. People who aren't horse people aren't going to realize that a water bottle crinkling in their hand or a, a snack crinkly paper is going to set your horse off. So luckily Grace is easy. Nothing bothers her that I found. And uh, just know your horse. And again, desensitizing is smart. It's a smart trip for tail, trail riding. Another great horse riding trail tip for safety is know your horse's fitness level and know the trail. And if somebody on the trail is, let's say, trying to build the butt muscles on their horse and want to do some uphill riding, if your horse isn't, depending on how many hills you have that day, if your horse isn't fit for that, you don't want to put them in that position if you don't have to. So know your horse's fitness level. Also know the level of your riding and what you're comfortable with. So if you come across um, a downhill section, let's say that you're just not comfortable riding down, it's too steep, or it has a log at the end you need to go over or big boulders or something that the horse needs to be a little more technical to get through, just dismount. That's why we've got our halter and lead rope on you can dismount you can walk your horse through that portion of the trail that's totally fine everybody that's with you is going to understand thanks for watching today's video on horse trail riding tips please give it a thumbs up if you liked it plus tell grace she did a great job she was very patient this whole time we really appreciate when you subscribe to the channel it helps bring awareness around horse rescues so we'll see you next week plane flying over we need to hold uh, oh, why can i never support horse rescue my words rewind another horse Riding another horse. What are the words I want?